<laughs> so you're going to show us how to make these puppets, which yes. are exclusively made for this show today. Yep, they are. They are indeed. Okay, if you want to join in at home, here's what you're going to need to get involved. You will need one pint plastic milk bottle, one two-litre drinks bottle, four plastic drinking straws, wooden dowel, a pair of chopsticks, thick string or cord, double-sided sticky tape. Right then. We're starting with a one pint milk bottle, yes. which, if you turn it upside down, happens to make quite a good face with some eyebrows, nose, mouth and room for some eyes. Amazing. Um, you're then, in the back of it, going to make a hole uh, for a control rod that's going to go in so you can move the head. And that can be quite a tricky part because you're going to need to use something sharp to get through there, so yeah. get some help from an adult if you need it. Then you're going to take a 30 centimetre bit of wooden dowel and cover dowel. the top end of it dowel. in double-sided tape. Yep. Quite a lot, you want generous. OK. Uh, and then you're putting that rod into the head, making sure it sticks to that top edge there, giving it a bit of a press to make sure it's nice and solid. Amazing. So then you've got your head on its neck. And as simple as that, the head is done. Yeah. Let's turn to the bottle then, which is our body. Now we've got an ordinary drinks bottle, you've seen these all over the place, and we've cut off the top third. And there are some holes either side of it as well. Again, you might need to get some help if you want to do that. But how do we use this to make our body? So you're going to thread a piece of string around the neck, if you mind holding yeah, the neck and the head for me. Uh, so you're going to find the centre of your piece of string around the neck rod and then tie a knot about four centimetres down from where the head is. Yep. You can always use a bit of tape or glue to hold that in place. OK. Then, if you thread... I'll thread the string, if you thread the rod through... OK. ..the top of your plastic bottle. Yep, just like that. Like that. OK. And then you're going to take an end and thread it through the holes you've made in the sides of the plastic bottle. We have a top tip here for you as well if you're doing this at home. Mm -hmm. If you take a close look at the end of this string here, you'll see it's got a little bit of sticky tape on the end of it. Now, this basically just makes it very easy to thread the string through those holes. If you don't put the tape on, it, it can be quite difficult. So that's a, a top tip. Try and do that. So once you've threaded your string through the sides of your plastic bottle, yep. you then tie some knots <laughs> on either side uh, to keep the rope in place yep. um, and making sure that your puppet can look left and right. You've still got room for that. Amazing. Then for his arms, we're going to use uh, four bits of drinking straw cut to 10 centimetre lengths um, and thread them onto the rope. So you're cutting it in half because you want the elbow joint, don't you? Yeah, you want the arms you want to be able to, to have move. some flex. Yeah. OK. So threading your second bit onto each bit of string. Again, this is where the tape on the end of that string really helps because it means you can lot thread it. Otherwise, it does take a long time, doesn't it? <laughs> now, if someone's watching who is inspired, as you were as a child watching Blue Peter, mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. would you say to our audience if they want to be puppeteers or even get involved in the creative side of it? Yeah. What tips would you give? It takes a lot of practice. I'd say make a lot of puppets, put on shows in your front room uh, and entertain your family like I did. And I think just, yeah, a lot of passion, a lot of hard work, um, but practice makes perfect. So what's next? Uh, so next you're going to make your hands. Hands. There we have a bit of card Excellent. and a pen. Mm -hmm. Now, you can do it two ways. You can either draw a hand on the paper and cut it out, or you can fold the paper over and draw one hand, which means that when you cut it out, you'll have two. So my hand's going to be a big sort of cartoony hand. Nice. Like that. And then you cut that out and you'll have two, which yep. will look like this. Excellent. So you're taking your hands yes. and you're uh, going to attach them to the rope, leaving about a centimetre of gap, because if it's too tight, then the arm can't bend. So about there? Yeah, great. OK, yep. Pressing that on there. This is such a cool make. I and love this. Then you want some control rods to be able to move the arms. Yeah, we have chopsticks. Yeah. For these, which you can get from most places, can't you? And then Maybe we've... ask the Chinese restaurant Ooh, if you can keep sorry. them after you've been for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've covered the end in double-sided tape as well. Yes. Make it stick. Attach that onto there. Look at that. And there you've got your kind of basic bare bones of a skeleton. It's very a cool, isn't it? So it is the bare bones, obviously, and we're going to need to give it a personality. So how do you give, effectively, a couple of drinks cartons and some paper a, a personality? <laughs> so uh, you use any kind of materials, really, to decide what kind of uh, character and personality your puppet has. Yep. Um, here are a couple that I made earlier, uh, one of which uh, is a robot covered in some tin foil, and yep. then uh, made a wizard uh, who's got a white felt beard, um, <laughs> and his robe and his hat are actually an old T-shirt of mine. <laughs>